I didn't know how to add a dark side, uh, dark side dice on because it's naturally part of the system. Yeah, you've got to tell the GM to do it. It's a yes, yeah, it's zero. So you use it. You may need to roll again for Ash. Yeah. For NPC. Pardon? For an NPC, you'll need to do it, I think. What? Oh, no, what no, you just want uh, to since you to dark side, you can roll again. Yeah, you can just roll again. Or did you oh, want to use the dark side after you do or your check? Or, or, add, or add it onto your check, if you want. You can use them as the same as light side dice, but you can use dark side. Gotcha. How much is the um, add-on check worth? Uh, basically, upgrade uh, one dice, so instead of a green, you're rolling, uh, rolling uh, a... Yeah, yeah. Right, so, uh, well, I might as well do the advantage thing now that I've already rolled yeah, once. That's okay. there. You can just reroll. And I said that's much better for you. Oh! Shit. Never mind. Oh, Even worse. <laughs> shields. <laughs> The force uh, with right. this guys, and I'm gonna take advantage oh. of it. Oh, oh wait, oh, I triumphed. Ash. It's fine. It's fine. I triumphed. Uh, what happens is their shields overload. And what is that? Jammy bastards. They are disoperational, uh, and it also causes strain onto the ship's profile based on how many he lost by, which was okay. three. Oh so, shit. Your no, he was side two because you can pick automatic one. success. Um, Liz got four on the computers and one advantage. Jack got two one. and one advantage. Oh, okay. it doesn't matter. You can still pick wrong. which one's better. Just because okay. you want. In which case, uh, so their ship takes two system strain, and mm -hmm. their shields are fully offline um, until they get rebooted up. I think it gets. Let me double check. Yeah, anyway, was please, I, I get it. It's an operational. Well. Maybe now is probably a good time for you to get that shuttle. Yeah. <laughs> Curses! They've overloaded the shields, Master. <laughs> I see. It's that new slicing technology they recently installed. <laughs> <laughs> get me my armor. Of course, oh, yes. master. Hut battle armor. I, I, battle. I throw I want to 1v1 the, the, hut. the doors of the wardrobe dramatically. <laughs> and all you <laughs> see is the armor, spears, and all the ancient yeah. hut battle gear ready. Yeah, yeah, it's going on. Can I keep trying to get out? Oh, they're you're, you're doing well, but don't worry. You, you've done enough right now. Okay. I'll fetch the breastplate structure. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I shall ready. He's gonna. By the way, he's gonna turn away and go up towards your pod, Cora. And essentially, tap on the glass for a moment and go. You be good now, my little payday. But that's in Hatikis, of course. So if you don't understand it, I don't understand <laughs> it. To me, he's just talking gibberish. He's having a card stroke. He has said, "How was your groiner?" <laughs> Hey, what a welcome! <laughs> <laughs> so, you're going to go and get the shuttle and drive to the ship while it's down? Yeah, um, I'd say we've enabled it enough that we've got a clear run in on the shuttle ash. You to... Yep, you can go on in. Okay, um, and because I'm a mad cunt, um, I'm gonna go for a hot landing. <laughs> awesome. Of course, this. That's the oh, only way to land. There's no other way. Okay, so, you're using the shuttle as a basilisk wardroid. Yeah, it's okay, guys. I'm just lucky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in uh, Adam's defense, that's the only way to land. There is no other way. Right. So, you come in. One moment. Oh boy. As you it's come in towards the, the hangar, you see several of the people on board firing off what are equivalent of basically rocket launchers towards your vessel. One clips a ring causing you to go down. So could you make me a pilot's check? Sure. Um, so here's my plan, Ash. Mm-hmm. Any landing you walk away from is a safe landing, and <laughs> any landing you crush half your enemies is a better one. Awesome. 
modified it, roll into them. Um, what's uh, what's my dice? What am I rolling here? Uh, basically three purples. Good. I already had it set to three purples. I guess. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> <laughs> in fairness, there. So essentially, the thing basically scrapes just barely across the ground, but as it does, the engines are taken off as it hits the edge of the platform. The ship sliding to halt, taking out several people along its way before it hits the middle tower just there. And basically, putting a massive hole into it. And Astrid? At that point, we're getting our crew back. Door kicks open. Yeah, exactly. At that point, all you see is one second. I want to specify that my cape is uh, visible. Billowing. Yep. <laughs> billowing. It's okay. I my cape the is AC billowing. Uh, also, Astrid, trick for moving faster in that armor is you slide forward and then you jump into a spiral. That's the fastest. Is that a Warhammer reference? That's There's a Warframe war reference. reference. Warframe, that's what oh, I yeah, no, yeah. Well, you, also, you, also, you also have to slide along the uh, uh, ground and spin your axe in a sp like around yeah, you to make yourself you go faster. Yeah, if you slide on your knees, it's quicker. Tibby yep. is speaking in his native tongue and I cannot understand. <laughs> right. Essentially, you must move it with your axe like a helicopter and that make, makes you move faster, don't worry about it. Yep, no worry about it. Oh yeah, I have my axe and my, uh, my giant carbine. If Diablo game has right. taught me anything, so... if you have an axe, you have to spin. As you and suddenly outside the ship, you just see several people aiming the guns towards the crash ship. It's like, oh, what he did? Oh no, you go check. They go anywhere near that. They could. And suddenly, this. Where is it? Blaster is... fire intensifies. <laughs> you hear as the door is suddenly blown off its hinges and. You know what? I'm... Yeah. It's gonna give yeah. it to you. <laughs> you see the Mandaloids burst out of the way, firing every which way. Roll me combat. I'll watch you hurt. Roll what? Watch you hear it. Fuck what you heard. Roll what? Roll me a basic attack. Let's see how many you guys can take out at once. Tizzy, you're probably following out behind so, me. Just out of curiosity, are the Mandalorians uh, screaming for Mandalore or are they screaming for Korra pictures? <laughs> for Korra! <laughs> okay. A million half bundles. <laughs> <laughs> Nice, nice. I Chris. <laughs> no, I don't have see, but you crit. I just did well. I tell you what, Jack. I know what's going to happen. So, Jack, would you like me to describe what you do, or would you like to narratively use that? I go for it. I want to see what oh, you cool. have in mind. So essentially, as you're being flanked on either side by two Mandalorians, each teaser making sure that everybody who dares even look at you is instantly shot down thanks to a second side, not even looking at the person. All you see is you walk forward confidently, point your pistol towards one person and fire. It, it flinches as it comes past, he's like, <laughs> you did hit, and you just stand there smiling as he turns around towards the few on deck, he's like, <gasps> And then suddenly a massive explosion wrecks the deck. I'd just like to leave with the parting line. No one insults my name. <laughs> <laughs> but Mandalorians look back towards you and go, You go forward through the hole. We're all here. <laughs> Ladies first. I assume you're just getting ready yep. to dive for anyway. <laughs> I, I head in first. And that way the thing, the trap springs on me instead of anybody else. <laughs> you're actually in a very good position since you can actually get towards the main place where you see the homing beacon coming from quite easily from the hole you put in. Would you like to I'm... head straight there or do you want to do any sabamage while you're here? I'm... Sabamage. Keeping my guard up, and I'm telling guys to follow a bit behind me, but I'm gonna head straight to Korra. Astrid, as you're as you're walking there, would you roll me a ball? A brawl? With, yes. 
Okay. Oh, Jesus. No, I need to... I'm gonna <laughs> fucking die. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, but essentially, all you see is this large Gamorian, like a pig, a green pig-like alien race of sh massive arms, so you bring down his axe towards you, simply sidestep, and would you like to describe how you put this guy down? Um, as he, uh, brings down his axe, I bring up my axe as well. I guess I block and then I just absolutely just smack him directly in the fucking head. <laughs> So essentially, you block his axe out of the way, and then slice. The smell of cooked bacon fills the room as he falls down from your flaming axe. <clears throat> I just turn back to Jack. This is a really great axe! You're welcome. <laughs> Tizza, would you like to roll perception? Uh... It's only one purple. Oh? Yes. Oh, interesting. Turns out you're one with the force, and the force was with you. <laughs> You've suddenly sent, since you don't exactly have normal vision, your vision's all around you. It is the force. All you see is an assassin pointing down towards Jack with his side, with his uh, decimator pistol ready to fire. Or I would like to shoot said assassin without even looking in his, in his direction. Go ahead. <laughs> Roll attack. Uh, where's my pistol? That's my pistol. You, that's also one purple. That one, oh, yeah. fuck me. <laughs> um, wow. Well, okay. I oh, know you can do something like that. That's probably going to be cool. Yeah, it's, don't wait. So essentially, you look up, fire, and all you hear is, what? And he just falls out of a vent down onto the ground as you busted open the vent hatch that he was sitting on. Nice. And he's looking at all you like, uh. Um. We don't have time, but sure. <laughs> we don't have time, but, which is wow. what Jack says to the rest of you. <laughs> <laughs> so, it was so clean and quick. Casually strolling <laughs> past. <laughs> at this point, I'm, I'm wearing the smuggler's coat like a fucking commissar's great coat. Just <laughs> over the shoulders. <laughs> Boom. Right. Don't even break stride. Busting in to the main office, before you, you see darkness. Thank fuck this happened just after we bought a bunch of upgrades, eh, guys? Yeah, hey, exactly. Can I use Damn my axe as a torch? The slug yes, father. It's right around you two, around you three, essentially there's a slight glow going on. Before you, you see almost complete darkness except for the blue cubicle of Cora, who's probably slightly moving. Do you want to do anything to <laughs> gesture towards them? Uh, well, since I've been busy cutting pink uh, open and I see them coming in, I'm just gonna straight up. Uh attack the pot and try to yet. break it it's not ready yet oh okay i'm just You're gonna doing it. i'm just well i'm not sure exactly what i can do right now so i'm just gonna vaguely look in their direction tell okay. us where the hut is the hut is actually you see the blackened form of a hut step out towards you holding a pistol out i'm making right. sure i am in front of everybody Looking towards you with his pistol up already, you can see him smoking. You can't see all of him, only his head, that telltale mark on his left eye. <clears throat> oh, oh, he is speaking Hutties, by the way. He goes, It is good to see you again after how long has it been? I just look to Jack because I have no idea what the fuck he just said. You had to know I wasn't going to let this go. <laughs> Give me back my friend, and you don't have to die. Do you understand? <laughs> Stop poking my wart. Do you understand <laughs> how much that girl is worth? No. 
but I'll be taking her anyway. I say leveling the pistol. <laughs> he, he actually opens his arms. Go ahead and try. I flick my head over to Tizza. Um, while maintaining my aim at this guy. Tizza, if we're really out rolling, you can already tell there is basically a bulletproof glass wall between you guys and him right now. Oh. Like a laser-proof glass wall. But he does gesture towards somebody in the darkness. Come and say hello to your friend. B2 steps forward. Master, if you're taking oh, it, it. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> just, <laughs> it just reflects off of a glass and leaves oh, a glass. I'm aware it does, I'm just letting you guys know. It just twitches straight away. Yeah. <laughs> the BT just stares at you for a second. As I was saying, if you take down Mr. Dibbler first, the rest will scatter like leadless womp rats. Oh. Of course. Can't do anything without your leader, I would say. <laughs> you couldn't leave this alone, could you, Dibbler? Me too. <laughs> I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> At this point, Astrid is face palming. Uh, I then reach up my hand to my uh, to my earpiece and I go, "Ifo, got my tracker, right?" Oh, you will find your devices don't work here. He says plainly. After all, I don't like to take many risks. You don't know how much it pained me to cater to your every need. Now I will enjoy it sweeping the ashes of your corpse off the floor. Yes, I had heard you had not treated my friend very well. A shame. He may have asked me to show you mercy otherwise. He made Dropping. me stand on the beach for two days, holding an umbrella over him. He <laughs> clicks his large, grotesque tongue before <laughs> dropping a pistol to his side and a pipe to the other. Well then, I think it's about time to end this. Do you not agree, Jack Dibbler? Let's. As he says Name that... The helmet of what he was wearing pops over his head. Oh, yep. Ah, come on, I've been waiting for it since the start of the session. The side of his <laughs> armor charges up, and behind him, a bubble like shield forms, which B2, you were instructed to stand in. B2 moves to the shield. Get back. No, I know I was. The right. wall starts to come <laughs> down. And Cora. This may be your cue. Uh, with the fuel, at this point, hmm? the fuel precision strikes on the cracks. I'm gonna burst out of there. Oh wait, okay. is he actually nearby me? Can I get the jump on him? He's B two is nearby you. So you yeah, can because I wanna grab my sword that. as soon as possible. Yes. However, from the other side entrances, you see more than a few mooks starting to come out and. It's probably not best to stay where you are. Right. So basically, as um, I start hitting cracks left and right and hit them, I want to burst out, grab my blade while beat is distracted, and basically roll towards the others. Yes, I would say that. Uh... <laughs> Why are you all positioned like that? <laughs> roll check. Uh... Roll check. Yep. So essentially, you want to bull check him? B2 gets to be bigger because he's boss now. I'd be the biggest then. <laughs> uh, by brawl check, do you mean attack or just the base. basic for yanking just my brawl. stuff out just of him? Just brawl. Fuck. 
Oh, guess I'm gonna have to do it old fashioned. Oh, wait. <laughs> Ripple <laughs> boy. It's never my strength. Kick. Well, actually, Maybe hang on fighting. a minute. I can sell this. Hang on. <laughs> Dude, you were probably very unaware that Coral was bursting out, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Pretty unaware, yeah. Uh, should I decrease that? I think I'll actually decrease that by like one, basically one purple for you, of course. You may roll again. Okay. Yay! There you go. Top of the kicks. So I basically That's snatch my weapon soul. back and I roll backwards with the rest of the guys. Yeah, he just Dark Souls rolls away as he uh, fires. And I'm, as I'm on one knee with sword in hand, I'm just without looking back towards them because I want to keep my eyes on the enemies. Going to say, hey guys, uh, fancy meeting you here. Well, I didn't think we'd leave you. Well, you know, you had kind of a small ship and it feels like we're on a big ship, so I'm thinking you have to be Laura. a pretty crazy pilot to come here. Like two that's ever stopped one before. Two people don't insult my ship in one day. Two, I don't know you anything after this. You know what, Jack? If we get out of here in one piece, let's just call it even, huh? That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> Are we rolling much initiative, Aru? Much, much initiative, Aru. Wait, I probably shouldn't have rolled. Not for Yeah, one second. I have rolled. You take the diff out, right? Well, it's yeah. 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 Like so it's advantage, it's so. uh, 3.2. Guess who's super because angry I right now? One. I have one success built in from my There we thing. go. One second B2, there's something I need to do. What's a, what's a triumph worth? Nothing, actually. Nothing yeah. for you, an initiative. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing at, nothing at all. 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 One second. Gotta delete V2. Oh no, I deleted him. What is he ever gonna do? Oh, he's about to get deleted, alright. Oh yeah. <laughs> If nice. nobody's stopping me, I'm hacking him to bits with my hands. No. No, 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 we have to wipe his memory. That's how this is gonna go down. We have to... <laughs> <laughs> We're yeah. wiping his memory. We, we gotta give him our bot to me right now. <laughs> I what? Alright. I will... I'll wipe his memory and reprogram him if that's what right, you can do. Would be what, Sibby? Guys, how annoying would be if we re reprogrammed B29? <laughs> I mean... You can try and do what you like. But I have a new character planned, let me just put it uh, that way. Look, uh, yeah, okay, I, I figured as much, so I'm curious, Jack, is your new character gonna be the greeting bot? <laughs> you don't know. No. <laughs> but yeah, that's why I was kind of, I was assuming Jack had a new pl character plan, that's why I was saying... The yeah, okay, that's fair, that's fair. Okay. shit out of them and kill them. That's so fine. I'm uh, 1.2 so, uh, cash. Right. Also, oh, wait, I'm kind yeah, of offended I, sorry, because I can't set uh, B2 insinuated that Astrid would just run away if Jack died, when that is the complete opposite of the case. She'll just go into a senseless rage and kill you and, t and beat the there shit out go. of anybody she inside she until either she dies or everybody in the vicinity is dead. So, uh, good idea not letting me have access to my comms. I was about to fire a turbo laser into this room. <laughs> Adam, right, you fucking uh... bad man. Yes, I am a man, I'm Sibby. <laughs> I am exactly that. Then again, he is also I was, an angry man. Then again, I once this like had a discussion with Nier about calling like calling precision orbital fire from from our orbit, orbiting ship in Warhammer. <laughs> he did not agree. <laughs> oh, what a yeah, shocker! Right. The angry damsel in distress I'm... goes first. Just He's got some phantom rage to unleash. Essentially, between you and. You and them is in order is around about six <laughs> of these goons, then the show armor boss, well, and then B2 in a shield bubble. Uh, I'm gonna assume that they probably stripped me of my armor, right? Uh, yes. Right. You're Perfect. Armor, That's actually a good thing you. because guess what? Armor is not gonna weigh me down as I go on a feeding frenzy right now. Here we go. 
Gotcha. I'm gonna use my linked ability as I dart into wreck these motherfuckers. I'm I'm gonna start hitting. Right, here's my first strike. And I'm very happy with that, I'll keep it. So that's a link ability. That's 4, 6, 8, 9 damage twice. That's 18 damage. It has 2 piercing, by the way. Alright then, 2 piercing, 18 damage and all. Right, I and I'm gonna it. take 2 strain and hit one more time. Just start well, lashing out on these Hang motherfuckers. On. Wait, 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 wait. They're evenly spaced out, so you killed one. Sadly, you can't go over to the other one. Oh! It well, in that case, since I already used my link ability, uh, the roll that I just made counted as a saber throw. And I'm just gonna throw my laser, uh, my sword at him. Let me just throw my power for it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna take one strain to fix that and take uh, whatever that was needed nice for side, nice. the power to work. So even though the saber, it, uh, nice. even though my weapon will not return, you have to flip the light side as well. But what? If you want to, uh, if you like, if you want to use dark side for light, like you have to when flip you roll that, you have to flip light side this too. Oh, okay, I'm doing that then. Right. So I'm throwing my weapon, but sadly it will not return to me. That's four, six, eight, ten, twelve damage with the throw. <sighs> So in other words, the guy, you just slaughter one guy down the middle, then toss your sword towards one other, and he's like, gets stabbed. Basically, in the chest, he's like, still barely alive. He's like, what a rangi, what the fuck? Dude! <laughs> 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 he's like, holding onto the swords, bleeding out. He's like, <laughs> Oh, Jack, I, I do have good news for you. Oh, man, I'm... <laughs> Uh, so I thought it would be taking this to also upgrade my weapons, so I don't yet have my Ion Blaster <laughs> designed specifically <laughs> for scenarios like this, where the opponent is destroying <laughs> the shield. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got that going, dude. Uh. Um, as far as I'm concerned, me and Astrid are going to handle uh, B2 and Nameless Hut, so I'm going to start firing at Nameless Hut. What's the range like, Ash? Uh, currently, I would say from your current position, medium. Medium. Okay, so that is two perps. I need my fan on. This is getting exciting. I need to cool myself off. <laughs> that sounds so decadent. Mm, I, I got you? a tiny little fan on my desk. It's awesome. <laughs> uh, so the target to drop a melee ranged weapon he is wielding. Yeah, can I uh, basically make him drop what he's holding and then take the strain and fire again yep go ahead he drops his uh, force pike oh with that much advantage there's got to be some weird kooky shit i can do right oh you want you want to see what you can do yeah what's something i can do for five advantage <laughs> Essentially, what you could do is basically fire at his helmet, and what it would do is being off of it, but it would disorient him a little bit. So it would probably give him a black dice or something like that. He's like, Ugh. as it sparks, it's a spark. You can do two. that with two. Yeah. What can I do or with five? Five? How about this? You look up and you spot a uh, chandelier. Essentially. That's that seems appropriate. He's Within his definite room. Yeah, fuck it. I shoot his chandelier. <laughs> <laughs> As you shoot his chandelier, you just see the guy with a sword in him go, It's a jelly! Help me out here! He's like holding on saying, Ready? One, two, three! What? Ah! Two of them get instantly crushed by the chandelier. Johnny is still alive though. He's like calling out like, Oh my god, what the fuck is going on with these people? <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> oh, he's dead. He gets slowly up. <laughs> okay, right, I'm gonna hunt, kill you. Mind you just... <laughs> yeah, cheers. <laughs> I'm gonna Corey, take your sword, you your, your sword is like poking out of a wreckage of a chandelier, so you're fine to get it. Nice. But Amanda, uh, I would hmm? recommend you 1v1 that heart. Maybe with his own force pike before he can pick it up. Ooh, I love one v oneing things, especially with their <laughs> own weapons. Do. I know you. 
But I'm still worried about the healer in the back. Oh, also, um, happy hunt. Awesome. <laughs> this is exactly what I wanted. Dude, have you seen this? Come on, T-Rex!